Mario Raheem with Miguel Cotto, facing comma guy. Hey, Miguel, <laughs> always a pleasure to talk to you, sir. You're looking in good spirits. The change from Rock Nation to Golden Boy uh, surprised a lot of people. What was it about Rock Nation that uh, made it unable for you to finish out your contract there? No, we, did, we, we, we realized that we are going to be a uh, better uh, rock nature on their side, uh, Miguel Cotto on his side, and we decide just to move on. You know, the, uh, Freddie Roach has said that you only have a couple of fights left, the year is almost done. Do you agree with that? And if Kamagai is not the last fight, who is? We don't know yet. We, we, we have uh, Kamagai in front of, of, of us for August 26th. And we have to wait until after that and, and check uh, what, what happened next. Everybody was uh, expecting you to uh, fight before and you've expected yourself to be ready, you've gotten ready, you've gotten ready again, and it didn't happen. How much does that take out of you preparing for a fight that doesn't happen and why is Kamagai a good opponent for you now? No, I'm, 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 just, I'm just living the moment and just, I'm just taking the, the, the things in my life in the easiest way. I'm here for the Kamagai fight. Mm -hmm. On August 26th, and uh, also, oh, that's all I can talk about it. Lastly, what is it that you have left to do in the sport that makes you keep getting in the ring? What do you have to fulfill before you feel like you can be done? I need, I need to finish my career in the best way possible, and that's, uh, in this way, I'm going to work for, for finishing in this way. Hi, Miguel. Hi. Nice to see you. So, earlier today, De La Hoya mentioned that you, ESPN and Golden Boy are bringing boxing back to Puerto Rico, your home, your home country. How honored do you feel about that? I'm really happy with this uh, uh, news. Um, I'm really honored to be able to bring uh, boxing to our boxers, to our boxing fans in Puerto Rico, and we are going to do the best we can for bringing the best shows in Puerto Rico. Can you talk about when, because I hear there's two dates already set, can you tell us? We have, the first one is going to be in August 18. We don't know about the second one yet, but, but the, the, we, we are working in, on the August 18 one. Okay, before anything, you've been out, you've been, you haven't fought since August 2015. Um, you, you've been taking off training, uh, excuse me, you've taken off, you had some fights lined up, injuries, negotiations fell through. What did you do during that time? Did you just take time off? Did you train? Did you just stay with your family? Rest and stay with my family. For this fight, the Canelo Triple G fight. I know you want Canelo next. I know you have this fight, but would you want a rematch with Canelo? I don't know what happened next, what happened with my career after this fight, but I'm always looking for the best uh, uh, opportunities out there. Can you give us a prediction for Gennady Golovkin and the Canelo fight coming up in September? It's going to be a, a real good fight. Good prediction. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Good luck. Question right here. Um, what do you uh, expect? I'm going to do my best as always at the training camp. I'm going to bring my best as always the night of the fight. Um, if 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 fight if fans want to watch a real good fight, they can they they can they can look to stop us in there. Okay, thanks guys. Thank you. Thank you.